Hi, my name is Alicia Colleen Lewis, and I'm an author from the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. I have two recently released books that I published with Ingram Spark. The first one, The Intrepid Meditator, and the accompanying novella, Room Service Please, which recently won um, a gold with the Book Fest for cover design, which I'm really excited about. I have been an author, a writer for about 20 years. I'm a Reiki master. So I decided maybe about 10 years ago or so that I was going to take what I had learned in Reiki and what I was experiencing as a, pra a practitioner and put that into language. And that's how The Intrepid Meditator came about. This is a self-help book with Reiki-inspired language to help us find our strength, find our inner, our inner wisdom, our inner truth. And so by writing the accompanying novella, Room Service Please, we have a character in 1922 who finds herself in a situation where she must find the inner strength and the inner wisdom to get out of a predicament and find her best self. So these two books actually go together and I have been so blessed with the, with the award for cover design for the reviews that I've received and the absolute wonderful relationship that I've had self-publishing with Ingram Spark Books. The first book in this series that I'm writing of four novellas is Room Service, Please. And this book came about after uh, discovering that through the Reiki work that I was doing, that people were asking for ways to find their inner truth, find something that really spoke to them, that helped them become their best self. And while writing this book, uh, I wanted to really speak to that and create a character who was struggling. We all do go through struggle. We all um, often find ourselves in a situation that we are asked to maybe pivot. Maybe something comes up in our lives that we don't expect at all. And how are we going to dance through that and find our best way through that to find our best self? And in this particular novella, Room Service Please, the character Edie May is caught in a situation that uh, puts her in, 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 in a complication. She, she is uh, compromised one night in the, in the hotel Waldorf Astoria in New York City. It's 1922 and her journey to finding her best self takes her, takes her through some of that Reiki work that I have been um, inspired to teach and through that and in the accompanying novellas that are going to follow this one we have three more books and three different characters and three different time frames and three situations that create a larger arc for a story for women's coming of age coming into their best self and yeah we might trip a little bit um, in life but when given the opportunity to make the best of something, especially uh, especially in a way that we're we're not even prepared to, I, I wanted to give I wanted to give a character and all my characters an opportunity to teach grace and inner light. I think the biggest hurdle we all go through in life is finding uh, authenticity and I don't think I've ever been afraid of who I was or had to um, display who I was or project who I was but I'm I'm very mindful that I I teach authenticity by being authentic and that's important to me so my inspiration came from probably my my whole childhood arc of finding finding character finding the inner wisdom to be intelligent to be fun to be creative to be um, inspiring 
I was very involved as a, as a younger person in the theater. By creating characters in, in my books, especially ones that struggle to find who they are, their sense of self, this idea of tripping over a stage and going through life as though we are characters helped me create and that inspires me to create character because set design, scene, costume, and most importantly motivation, knowing how to to work through some of that on a stage, that helped me the most as a writer. I am really excited about the direction that the work is taking and, and the creative uh, inspiration that I've had for this uh, series of books that I'm doing, the four novellas. I'm going to publish them all with Ingram Spark. I just, I, I don't know, I decided to start my own publishing company, Tattered Script Publishing. And by doing that and, and kind of owning this idea that I'd be a self-publisher, that I then could help others after I have gotten a little of this work, you know, under my belt. My idea is to help others create um, some early, an early platform for themselves so that they too can establish a place where they can feel comfortable as a beginning author. And it was really important to me that I give back so that I can help other authors who are starting out. Um, I'm going to learn as I go here. I'm learning a lot through Ingram Spark Publishing. I'm learning a lot having started Tatter Script Publishing, my own little publishing imprint company that this particular novella, Room Service Please, and the three that will follow it, as well as the three sort of self-help books that will follow The Intrepid Meditator, all work uh, on this larger arc of a story of self-healing, um, alignment with true self, um, authenticity, Finding the own, your own inner healer, your own, again, I have to repeat myself, best self. I want to say that the most amazing thing about working with Ingram Spark Publishing is how uh, they have designed a program for putting your work into book form in, in the most systematically easy to follow, easy to understand, easy to, easy to play with, easy to erase and go back and change if you've got to make a change. And the design is up to you. It's, it's, it's up to the author, your, your creative team that you're working with to put all those pieces together and they, they provide the steps. And so I'm really grateful for my team at Tatter Script Publishing, who does help with some of the back end of all of this. I will say that um, there was a bit of a learning curve, but there's always a learning curve with everything. And once you get that behind you, it, it was, it's been pretty smooth sailing. I think the most important thing going into self-publishing and using uh, a platform such as Ingram Spark Publishing is know, know the industry. I did a lot of research um, as an author for over 20 years. I had been submitting work to other publishers and uh, in, in theory, you, you want to try to find an agent and then you go through those steps once you've found an agent of then uh, being picked up by a publishing house. That didn't happen for me and in a very positive, I mean, that's, that's, it's just been so positive that that didn't happen that I've had this opportunity to self-publish because I've got a lot of creative control and I have been able to design the look of the book, the look of the cover. Um, I do work with an editor as well. I think that's very important. So it's self-publishing, but know the industry and it's just, it's taking the time and, and doing the research and, and finding the patience really to, to, to understanding publishing and then when you go in and you're and you're working with their program um, it'll all be there and it will all make sense and you'll and you'll you'll know uh, how to how to craft a really beautiful beautiful book through the steps that they provide